Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a fairly familiar video as I believe I've done this in both NHL 21 and NHL 20. So I kind of wanted to see if and how it's any different in NHL 22. And yeah, I just hope everybody's doing well. We've got a whole career ahead of us just kind of showing you the player here. 99 in every stat and I of course gave a bunch of the abilities here as well. Try to find ones that were fitting but for the most part I just kind of picked them as I saw them. So yeah, there we go. And hopping into year number one here, we can see that Dangle is indeed the number one prospect. Shane Wright has officially been beat out for that number one position. And Arizona ends up getting the number one overall pick there. Detroit at number two. So we sim the pick and boom, there he is. Kurt Dangle taking first overall, high franchise, 99 overall. Shane Wright goes second. Also a very good pick for Detroit, but I mean, you have a once-in-a-lifetime player here with Kurt Tangle, so Arizona made the right choice, and he signs his entry-level contract as expected. Here is the lineups for the Arizona Coyotes. Team looks pretty decent. They end up finishing 6th in the league with 101 points, 46 wins on the year. Kurt will put up 108 points, playing 82 games and getting 69 goals. Nice. We got... The Winnipeg Jets with a Stanley Cup championship, and obviously tons of trophies for Kurt Dangle. I kind of tally them up at the end. Hopefully I got it all right. They were deleted by Chicago in round one, and Jumbo Joe is the top retiring player for this year. Now hopping into year number three, we've got Raquel and Genther on the first line. Here's the defense for the team, Varlamov and DeSmith in net. Team will finish seventh this year with 103 points. 46 wins again. Patrick Kane will take home the Art Ross this time. Kurt Dangle, just shy of 100 points there. So, yeah, he got beat out in year number two, but still a fantastic season out of him. And the Anaheim Ducks are going to win the Stanley Cup. Coyotes would make it to round two this time, but get deleted by the Jets in six games. Jason Spezza, top retiring player this year with 1,061 points. Kurt Dangle staying on that line here with Genther and Raquel. Defense looking fairly similar. The goaltenders are starting to go down and overall the team finishes 10th in the league. This time with 97 points, 44 wins. Kurt Dangle wins himself another Art Ross. 120 points, 81 goals. Guy's a goal scorer, that's for sure. Washington Capitals take home the Stanley Cup. Another series of trophies here for yours truly. And the team not having playoff luck, getting eliminated by the Golden Knights in round number one, taking only six games, didn't even push to seven. Evgeny Malkin is the top retiring player for this year's class with 1,420 points. Raquel, Genther, and Kurt Dangle remain here in year number five. He signs a new four-year $11.4 million contract. Defense looking pretty solid. Goaltenders, not so much, but the team will finish seventh in the league with 97 points. Kurt Dangle will lead the league again with 107 points. And the St. Louis Blues are going to be the Stanley Cup champions this time around. Uh, not a surprise to anyone, I'm assuming, at this point. But a couple more trophies here for Kurt Dangle. Team makes it to round two. But similar story, eliminated in six games by the St. Louis Blues. Ovechkin, what a retiring class overall. I'm not just going to look at this. Holy crap. That is quite the retirement class. Anyways... Genther, Hayton, and Dangle now will make up the first line for the Arizona Coyotes. Nadeljkovic will now be the starting goaltender, so they made an improvement there. They finished third in the league, 50 wins, 109 points. Dangle will one-up the team by one point there, getting 110. And the Ducks will win their second Stanley Cup. Once again, some more trophies for Kurt Dangle. Really can't come as a surprise at this point. The team was eliminated in seven games, round number one. The Minnesota Wild, speaking of Minnesota Wild, Phil Kessel right there playing for the Wild will put them out. So I guess he won a cup and then retired. Good on you, Phil. I actually forgot to record the lines this year. I was kind of speeding through it, but yeah, either way, still a great year. 125 points from Kurt Dangle. He would win himself another set of trophies here. No Stanley Cup to be had this time around. And you could see they were eliminated in the conference semifinals. Colorado Avalanche taking six games. We have Blake Wheeler as the top retiring player this year. Now we go back. We have Hayton, Dangle, and Genther are once again back at it. That line really seems to be clicking well. There's a defense. Pretty solid goaltending there for the Coyotes. They finished 8th in the league. 98 points. 44 wins this season. We have a another Art Ross. 
championship for Kurt Dangle and almost beat out for the Rocket Richard there, but he did manage to hold on by just one. I mean, I'm pretty sure they kind of split it if they tie anyway. I think that's how it works, but anyway, team would make it to the conference finals this time. I think that's the farthest they've made it, and they'd get swept by the Vancouver Canucks. Anze Kopitar is the top of this year's retirement class. Now we have Genther, Nugent Hopkins, and Dangle, even though Hayton's still on the team here in year number nine. Defense starting to get down there. Goaltenders looking like they can get the job done. 103 points from the Yotes this year in 46 wins. We got a fourth placed Kurt Dangle. All right, he wasn't able to do it. Still a tremendous season, but, you know, he didn't win the Art Ross, but they did win the Stanley Cup, so... He got that going for him, and he also got the con Smythe. He was the MVP, so there you have it, and they made it pretty easy. Other than the second round, it was all sweeps, so yeah, what a performance from them in this year's playoffs. Ryan O'Reilly will be the top retiring player this season. Genther, Nuge, and Dangle still here for year number 10, signs a new eight-year, basically $13 million contract. Here's the defense. It's really starting to get down there, and overall, Raycroft86 will be the starter Team finishes 5th in the league, 104 points, just shy of 50 wins. We got Kurt Dangle leading the league this year again. 60 goals would not get him the Rocky Richard, but he did in fact get the Art Ross yet again. So yeah, this guy is a certified beast, which we knew. They made it to the finals again this year, so it could have been back-to-back -back cups, but the Rangers beat them out in 6. Tyler Sagan will be the top retiring player for this year. And now it is time for year 11. Nuge, Heponiemi, and Dangle on the first line. Defense is basically staying around the same overalls. I'm not really sure if the players are staying the same, but the overalls are. The team did not do well this year. 79 points, finishing second last in their division. Still an Art Ross for Kurt Dangle, though. So that is impressive, to say the least, considering how poorly the team did. As a result, he is, of course, going to take home some more trophies here. The team did not make the playoffs, so I'm not fully sure why I included this in the video, but it's there, and now I'm commentating over it, so it's staying. Leo going to be the top retiring player this year, just surpassing 1,500 points. Good on you, Dreisaitl. We got Kaliev, Hayton, and Dangle as the first line now. Defense still looking kind of lackluster. Goaltenders are pretty solid, I must say. Team finishes 11th in the league. 104 points and 50 wins. Dangle will be beat out for the Art Ross this year by Zegris or Zegra. I'm still not fully sure which one it is. But yeah, he's going to be taking home some trophies for himself. I think it's okay. Kurt's already won a fair amount, so he can share a little bit there. Team gets swept in round number two by the LA Kings. And Nikita Kucherov is the top retiring player this year with 1,382 points. Chiberdo, Hayton, and Dangle going to be the first line for the Yotes. This time around, we got Martinuk in net and Fitzpatrick as the backup. Two solid goaltenders there. 100 points and 48 wins will get the Coyotes sixth in the league this year. Another Art Ross for Kurt Dangle with 109 points, 74 goals, guys born to score. Colorado Avalanche take home the Stanley Cup this time around. That Metropolit guy was giving Kurt a good run for his money there a few years in a row, and they would actually eliminate the Coyotes in round two, taking seven games. Mark Shifley is the top retiring player for this year with 1,371 points. Year 14, we still have Huberdo, Hayton, and Dangle on the first line. Defense still looking lackluster. Goaltenders sort of fell off a bit there, but they still have a good starting goaltender. Team finishes fifth in the league with 102 points. Surprise, surprise. Art Ross for Kurt Dangle with 117 points. The Hurricanes take home the Stanley Cup, and we have another bunch of trophies here for Kurt Dangle and a similar story to last year team deleted by the Colorado Avalanche in seven games the conference semifinals Nate Mack is the top retiring player this year that is also a pretty crazy retirement class we're now in year 15 and yeah he's starting to get up there in age for sure he's not old yet per se but in terms of the NHL he's definitely getting up there so the team would not make the playoffs this year. Kurt Dangle puts up 100 points, only playing 70 games, though. So he definitely would have had another Art Ross had he played the whole season. But nonetheless, he did not. Dallas Stars are the Stanley Cup champions. And Jack Eichel retires as a Ranger. Ooh, 1,544 points. Here we go. The offense for year number 16. We have a defensive core that is looking pretty sad. Two good goaltenders, though. Team finishes 8th in the league. 100 points, 
48 wins. Another Art Ross for Kurt Dangle with 132 points, 75 goals. Just an absolutely ridiculous season. This is like old school hockey right here. The Washington Capitals take home the Stanley Cup and the Coyotes were swept in round one by the Anaheim Ducks. They really just seem to not do well in the playoffs. I don't know what it is. They do have a Stanley Cup, but it's just, yeah. Anyway, McDavid, no surprise here. Top retiring player with 1,857 points. Here's the offense for the Coyotes. We have a decent defensive core, not really. And then Foster and Ned. I don't know why their goalies keep fluctuating so much, but... That if there's anything I'll give to their defense, at least they're consistent, all right? They are consistently subpar. Kurt Dangle finishes second in the league, and we have another Stanley Cup headed to the Washington Capitals here. I just saw a trophy for Matthews. It's always kind of fun later on in the years to see if there's any real faces left or if it's all just the silhouettes. But anyway, we do have a first-round elimination from the Kraken this time. The Coyotes love getting put out in the first round. It's kind of their thing. They must have taken it over from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Anyway, we are entering year number 18. Dangled now down to 94 overall, so he is definitely starting to drop. The goaltenders are, well, they have a good starter. I'll give them that. Arizona finishes fourth in the Central Division, 87 points. Not good enough for the playoffs. Dangle wouldn't even be on the front page for stats, getting below 50 goals there, which is, for him, pretty shocking. So, as... It's not really a surprise, I would imagine. Doesn't take home any trophies this time around. And he actually retired. I was not ready for that at all. But he decided to call it quits at 1,377 games with 1,160 goals, 731 assists for a total of 1,891 points. His best season being a 75-goal season with 132 points. But I also just saw an 85-goal season, which is completely absurd. A 35-point playoff run there with 21 games played. I think that was the year they won the cup. What a certified beautician. So this is just sort of a summary of the trophies that he won. Hopefully I didn't miss any and tallied them all up. And hopefully the earnings was calculated correctly. I know I missed one contract with the recording, but I did manage to write it down still. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to see a goalie one or maybe a defense one, go ahead and let me know. And yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.